and welcome back to the channel rail fans welcome back to mr steve's trains i am your host mr steve today we're going to take a look at maintenance of way what do you know about it what don't you know maybe you know everything we're going to take a look in my research i discovered a few things here and there first i have a nice cup of sip of tea I'm gonna give me a proper mug. Henry, made in America, and I made it all. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's go over here in the old carpet layout. See what we got going on. Oh, there it is. I was trying this, this is the third time. They say third time's a charm. I tried this on a new video camera, and after about 13 minutes, it stopped and restarted don't know why but here we are we're at the end of it we got our work caboose the cno this is brought to you by mth trying to put a little additional lighting on there all right we got our cno work crane beautiful piece is also together the combo mth here's an mth maintenance away work car Uproot our tree, move it out of the way there. Comes with the uh, fast tracks. 036. Beautiful. Love the livery, yellow and green. That was the official work train maintenance away livery for CNO, was the yellow and green. This is the Lionel kitchen car. As you can probably see in here got rail sounds beautiful piece when the train starts rolling you'll hear the sounds of a rolling train clickety clack going down the track but then while it's sitting you'll hear crew talk rail sounds um, and hammering cutting you'll hear a train in the distance passing by people telling me that's a mighty good wainer want some more beans and all that kind of stuff yeah, see, there you go <clears throat> beautiful rail sounds it really just brings a full emotion of sound to the train Lionel came up with three of these maintenance away cars in different liveries for different railroads I know I believe there's a New York there's a Pennsylvania I think they came out with a UP this is the troop car this is C and O troop car B579. There's another one, so there's at least two of them, the different road numbers. We're working on getting a second one. We're going to extend this train a little bit. And these are all old box cars that were converted to maintenance away cars. Here's an old box car stuff. This is the actually. This would be the tool car. The door does slide open. It just reveals the wiring and inside circuitry, so ain't no bother seeing that. But they have all these beautifully separately applied handrails, grab irons, everything down there to the other end. Ladders, see-through walkway, beautiful. You know, you get your brake wheels. A lot, a lot of really fine detail. And that with the uh, sound car, and that's the troop sleeper. Uh, yeah, it makes for a nice little train. I just recently located an old MTH maintenance away so you know crane. One long crane on the short bed. So I'm looking forward to getting that into the collection. Alright, pulling this train, we have an MTH. Uh, Proto Sound 2. It's an old engine. Came out in 2003. This is the old Allegheny. It's 20 years old. Still works pretty good. It does the job. You know, we had a little trouble. I blew out a couple of drive drive wheels on it. So I ordered some new drive tires. I got the originals in the box, but again, those are 20 years old. But we'll try them. We'll put them on there, see what happens. You know, there's a little shot from the front. Unfortunately, the number boards do not light up. They did not have light up number boards. 
Or at least mine doesn't. I couldn't find anywhere in instructions, anywhere in the box advertising lighted number boards. What we do have down there by the headlight, there are number boards on the side. Still pretty slick. Back here, you know, you got your your cab glow. You got your firebox glow in there, which is just a continuous glow, unlike the transit today, where you can actually see a what, what appears to be a flickering firelight. But it's cool. It's an oldie but a goodie. That was my first big train. But anyways, we're gonna do a separate video on the Allegheny. Let's stay focused on here. What we have here is a Chesapeake in Ohio maintenance of way equipment and operations. If you like historical facts, if you like CNO, this is a great book. This is a book number, I think, 38 in the series. If you go right here, just speaking of stuff, just speaking Ohio Historical Society, Clifton Forge, Virginia. Okay. You can go there and they have a whole series of CNO books. Everything from engines to bridges to yards, yard movements. I mean it's it's pretty uh it's pretty complete. And you got a series whole series of these history books. Uh right here. That's the web address. Chessyshop.com. There's the website. Chessyshop.com. Alright. <clears throat> And what I wanted to show off is that the prevalent tender, oh, real quick note, this is an Allegheny, so you know Allegheny, pulling a work train, a big old beast of an engine. Lionel makes an exact duplicate of that engine, number 1650. All right. So if you're interested in that version, you can find it. Lionel makes it. And I wanted to show this. The work trains were rather long. They got tanker cars in there, taking whatever they perhaps they needed. Again, that's the Allegheny there, pulling that big old train. Work crews, everything was done by hand. So you had to have troop sleepers. Okay, let's jump back. Right here. I found interesting were Vanderbilt tenders. Vanderbilt tenders was the main tender used on these work trains. It was a small square tender, large tender. These are photos of tenders that were all ended up in the scrapyard in 1971 when these photos were taken. But I like that I don't have anything with the Vanderbilt tender. Great for historical research. Look at that. Pretty cool. And in the back you got a couple of colored photographs. They did use that's later on, those are the steel cars. The original passenger cars they used were wooden passenger cars. And they later scrapped those and converted box cars into work train cars. You see there's a Vanderbilt tender. Notice the troop sleeper and kitchen cars in front. And then you got a random tender by supplying coal. And then behind it you have the work slash material cars. All your tools and materials in there. Pretty interesting. Yeah, great book. JesseShop.com. Check them out. Moving right along. Here's my Vanderbilt tender. So we're going to get this one here. This is the F-19 Pacific. It's a 4.6... 4.62? Four, six, four, six, a 4.64? I'd have to double check. But yeah, it's a beautiful tender. I love that with the CNO logo on there. That just, I, that just kind of tripped my trigger. That'll fit the bill. 
I don't know anything else produces got a Vanderbilt tender. If you know something in the CNO line, please shoot me a note, put something in the comment section. Love to check it out. The only CNO only owned five of these locomotives. And the George George Washington route is the most sought after engine that people go for. Fortunately, that's not what I want for my maintenance line. So where's that's it? That's in the big line now, 2023 catalog. So enough of that. What do you say we get this baby rocking and rolling? Time's ticking away here. I'll take some more. Rail sounds come across to be able to hear the full nature.
All right, and until next time, as we like to say down here on the floor, happy rails. <laughs>